Hi, I'm Rowena from McMorgan Next Practice Marketing and this video is going to be around one of our proprietary ideation techniques called the pivot. So what is the pivot about? Fundamentally, it's taking an existing market or need and then literally pivoting. So there's an element that stays the same, but there's another element that completely changes. And this can happen in a number of different ways. So to help you understand, I'm actually going to give you some examples. So the first pivot that I'm going to talk about is around application. So we all know baby powder. Most of us had it growing up, but a pivot around the ingredient of baby powder is taking it from baby powder and making it into dry shampoo. Yes, it's actually the same ingredient, but it has a completely different application. Another pivot is around need. So earlier we talked about the creation of the on the go breakfast category. So the existing need was breakfast, but the pivot was making it ready to go in a, in a format that you could take with you. And that's what Up and Go did. The next example is around format. So most people here have used some sort of juicer or blender, but they're actually quite a pain to clean. So most people use it on occasion. And a, a pivot around format was done by Nutribullet where they took the existing need around having a blender, but they created a very different format through the way the actual design worked. So they had the blades and also the lid able to come out so it was much easier to use. So that pivot was in the format. It's still a blender, but the way it was delivered was way easier for everyone. Another way that you can pivot is through delivery. And there's been lots of pivots in this area through technology. Um, you'll know Amazon, a complete pivot in terms of not only being able to get what you need, but how it comes to you. Another one would be HelloFresh, which is about providing groceries and the need to be able to create nice meals, but they pivot in that they deliver it to your door with the exact quantities and also with amazing recipe ideas. So there's also a pivot around cost and a lot of examples of this happen in third world countries where they take technology that costs $20,000 and they make it accessible for a hundred. But in the Western world, a really obvious pivot around cost is the ability to create your own website. So once upon a time, even if you, if you wanted to create your own website, it would have cost you a lot of money. Now you can basically pivot by setting up your own website at no dollars or for a very low monthly subscription if you want more features. Another pivot is around experience and this is taking what is a current need but making it so much easier and better. And Uber really created a pivot in the case of transport um, and also around paid for transport. So not only are you able to set up the whole payment system, you are able to get a driver that is available to you and you're also able to tap into any number of people which means they can get you there faster. Another pivot is around process. So if you think of the world of coffee, where once upon a time it was all about um, instant coffee or going to a cafe for um, a barista style coffee. Well, Nespresso really innovated in this, in this space through process where they introduced a machine, the Nespresso machine, which basically gave you the taste of barista but use capsules so you could get a wonderful cup of coffee but at home and make it a lot more affordable than actually going to a cafe. And finally, technology. Technology is at the heart of a lot of pivots and you will all relate to this because 20 years ago we all had only the phone that was in the house and now we've got mobile phones, we've got smartphones, we've got computers, we've got any number of enabled um, ways to go about our life, which is all through technology pivots. So if you're thinking about the pivot, think about what is a current need, but also how do I change, significantly change a variable 
that delivers to the consumer a much better experience, outcome, and something that they're willing to pay for.